Hi guys, this is Big Numbers Part 2. If you haven't watched Part 1, make sure you watch that one first before you watch this one. So today we're going to talk about a famous big number. It is Graham's number. It's a uh, number named after a famous mathematician, Ronald Graham. He discovered this number back in the 1970s. Uh, is a solution of a problem in Ramsey theory um, but in this video we are just gonna focus on how big Graham's number actually is so we're not gonna discuss the story behind it uh, what's its purpose and what what is it for if you want to know you can um, search it uh, you can google it on the internet uh, I believe there's uh, there's some great articles about this number. I mean, uh, what what does it what does it use for and what does it explain? So let's get started. So before we can discuss how big Graham's number is, we have to first look at something in mathematics called hyper operations. So in hyper operations, we have several levels of operations. So level one is addition. So A plus B just, just means A plus one plus one plus one dot 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 plus one and there are B copies of one. For example, three plus three. It just means three plus one plus one plus one which is six. And on level 2, we have multiplication, which is repeated addition. So A times B is just means A plus A plus dot 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 plus A, and there are B copies of A. For example, 3 times 3 equals 3 plus 3 plus 3, which is 9. And on the third level, we have exp exponentiation, which is repeated multiplication. So here, um, for exponentiation, we, use, we can use a uh, uh, up arrow notation to represent exponentiation. So a arrow b, it just means a to the power of b. So they're the same thing. So a arrow b means a times a times a dot 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 times a and there are b copies of a. For example, 3 arrow 3 um, or 3 to the power of 3. It just means 3 times 3 times 3 which is 27. And the fourth level, we call it titration which is repeated exponentiation. So for tetration, we use two arrows to represent this operation. So here A arrow arrow B equals A arrow A arrow dot 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 arrow A and there are B copies of A. So for example, three double arrow three it means 3 arrow 3 arrow 3 since 3 arrow 3 equals 27 so this one is equal to 3 arrow 27 which is around 7.6 trillion so here we work from the right to the left so now we can see we just jump from 27 to 7.6 trillion by just going up one level so it's a pretty quick escalation. Another way to look at um, double arrows is um, by treating it as a power tower. So the B here, A double arrow B, the B here, it just means the height of the tower. So three double arrow three, it means a power tower of three, which is three high. And three double arrow four, 
is 3 to the 3 to the 3 to the 3. There are four threes. And 3 double arrow 5 is 3 to the 3 to the 3 to the 3 to the 3. So there are five threes. So um, remember last video, the biggest number we talked about was Google and Googleplex. So let's compare Google and Googleplex to the numbers that uh, we just talked about. So Google is 10 to the 100, but it is smaller than three double arrow four. So the Google is smaller than this guy over here. And then the Googleplex 10 to the 10 to the 100 is between three double arrow four and three double arrow five. So that means the Googleplex is smaller than this guy over here. So we can see that even something as big as a Googleplex, it get easily beaten by this arrow notation over here. So three and five are small numbers. And what happened if we add two arrows between them? And we got a number which is bigger than a Googleplex. So let's move on to the next level, level five, pentation, which is repeated tetration. So we use three arrows to represent this level. So A, three arrow, B. It means A, double arrow, A, double arrow, dot, 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 double arrow, A. And how many A's are there? There are B copies of A. For example, three triple arrow three. It means three double arrow three double arrow three. So three triple arrow three, how big it is? It is, so it equals to three double arrow three double arrow three. And three double arrow three equals to 7.6 trillion. So this whole thing here is equal to three double arrow 7.6 trillion. So if you want to write this down in terms of a power tower, it will look something like this. So three to the three to the three to the three to the three dot 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 dot. And how many threes? There are 7.6 trillion threes high. So um, assuming each three is two centimeters high and this power tower we extend from the earth all the way to the sun so we can call this a sun tower and remember here so three double arrow five so this guy here is already bigger than a googleplex that means the top five the top five threes in this sun tower is already bigger than a Googleplex. But remember, there are 7.6 trillion threes in this tower. So now, can you imagine how big this number is? I mean, how much bigger this number is compared to the Googleplex. So right now, the Googleplex, it looks like a zero compared to this guy over here. So this is another way to look at that. Look at this guy, three triple arrow three, which which is, which means three arrow three arrow three arrow dot dot dot, and there are three point six trillion threes in here. In order to get to Graham's number, we have to start with three four arrows three, which is we can call this G one. So this is the first step to construct Graham's number. So three, four arrow three is equal to three, triple arrow three, triple arrow three, which is equal to three, triple arrow of this guy over here, the sun tower, this guy over here. So this is the sun tower. So we work from the right to the left. So G1 
which is this guy, four arrows. Um, we can extend it out, which is three, double arrow three, double arrow three, double arrow three, dot dot dot, double arrow three, double arrow three, double arrow three. And how many threes are there? There are this many threes. So there's a sun tower number of threes over here. So you have to work from right to the left. So this is one three, the second three, the third three, and you keep going left and you have to do this for this many times. So this is a very, very big number. But G1 is just the first step towards Graham's number. So the second step is G2. So what is G2? So G2 is three with many, many arrows and then another three. And how many arrows are there? There are G1 number of arrows. So the number of arrows here equals to this number over here. And don't forget, this number is crazily big. We, we couldn't even write this number. So um, another way uh, to write, um, if there are many arrows, we can write it three arrow G1, three. This one is just means there are G1 number of arrows. And then the third step, G3, is just follow the same pattern. So for G3, there are G2 number of arrows. So three with G2 number of arrows and then another three. And we continue on with this uh, operations. We keep doing G's until we arrived at G64. So G64 is Graham's number. So it is three with G63 arrows and another three. Remember, just three triple arrow three is already much, much, much bigger than a Googleplex. And G1 is much, much, much bigger than three triple arrow three. And in G1, there are only four arrows. But compared to Graham's number, there are G63 arrows. So now, can you imagine how big Graham's number is? So Graham's number was once the biggest number ever used in a serious mathematical proof. Um, Right now, of course, it's no longer the biggest number ever used in math. Um, there are uh, there are bigger numbers right now, such as tree three. Um, but there you go. Graham's number is very, very big. So in the next video, we're going to talk about another big number. Actually, uh, there are three numbers that I'm going to talk about. So stay tuned. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.